Somebody's not feeling good, huh? Something's wrong? Something's wrong, huh? Poor girl, she's not... She's not eating and drinking now. Um, she's definitely been having some issues going to the bathroom the past couple of days. Huh. Started noticing it uh, really big yesterday. She was just super lethargic and just... This is it all day. And that's not like her. Uh, usually she's running around the yard having fun. Chasing chickens. Playing with the pigs. Huh. Something's not right with the baby girl. So, we're going to the vet this morning. We're going to find out what's wrong. And get y'all better, huh? I don't like seeing you like this. Look at how pretty that is, though. A little bit of snowfall. A little bit of snowfall last night. Not a lot, but just a little bit came down. Which again, why we're we're proactive, not reactive. Look at this. I don't have to go worry about the windshield. I'm scraping it off and everything. Not that it was a lot of snow to scrape off, but still, it's nice. This is Matt Hogue. Uh, I have an appointment at nine with Macy. Okay, thank you. Bye. This new, new COVID, COVID era, you know, curbside checking and all this stuff is, it's kind of convenient because you can stay in your warm car, but I don't know. How you doing, girl? You ready to feel better? Just look at her ears. Like, I feel so bad right now. I know. I mean, I know what it feels like when, when I can't, when, when I can't poop. Yeah. Nobody likes it, girl. Nobody. She's like, Dad, now is not the time. I know. All right, I'll stop filming you. When we initially got her, I had, you know, a lot of people comment about German Shepherds and, you know, that kind of breed um, and do's and don'ts, you know. And one big thing that I read on was, you know, staying away from rawhide and all that because you get intestinal blockage. We've done good. We don't give her any of that stuff. It just got me nervous, you know, like knowing that and then knowing like she's having issues with going to the bathroom now. And she doesn't tear apart toys at all. She's really good. Like Morgan, the cattle dog, um, she ripped apart toys, ate all the fluff, all the f stuff inside, like just de decimated like a toy. She doesn't, she doesn't, she plays with them, but she does sticks, sticks and, you know, just pieces of tree that fall. Like she loves to just sit on the porch and just chew on them. She doesn't, I've never seen her swallow it. She just kind of chews on it until it's in pieces and then we got to clean it off the porch. But I imagine like, you know, some pieces, she's got to swallow some or, and that's just, that's just what is fearing me right now like i'm so scared that she has something blocking her from everything i heard and now now we're here so i just hate seeing her like this like it's my pup like i feel so bad hey, you good are you good mama it sucks <laughs> like you can't go in it's like, can you imagine like pulling up a doctor's office and just like handing your kid off and then they go into an exam room with a doctor and I know this is a dog and it's way different than a child, but still like just support wise, like your pup wants you to be there, right? Like you could see her hesitating as she went in like, who's this stranger taking me inside a building and why is my dad staying out there? <sighs> Fingers crossed y'all. Okay, thanks. All right, so doctor came out um gums look a little pale uh, maybe because she's not drinking water they're gonna they're gonna do a fecal test really quick just to check out see if there's any type of worm or parasite uh they did see some poop in there so um who knows what it could be it's just not forming so they'll either do a blood blood test or x-rays once they figure this out from the fecal side of things 
Um, but there was something that she said with um, bigger dogs, which I didn't know. So Macy is our first big dog. We've had Tinkerbell, the wiener dog, who's 14, 15 years old. And then obviously Morgan, our cattle dog, a little bit of a bigger dog, mid-sized dog, not, not huge dog. Um, but when I say big dog, I'm talking about like deep chested dogs, um, you know, Great Danes, Mastiffs, German Shepherds, even Labs. Um, but they call it a, a gastropexy. And so we haven't had her fixed yet. Um, I've always heard that with German Shepherds, you wait a little bit uh, as far as them going into heat uh, just before their first heat because they have growth plates. And if you wait, uh, it doesn't interrupt the growth plates because a lot of times you see the German Shepherds have hip issues and, and those kind of problems. So there's some new research that's come out saying that if you wait a little bit, it kind of helps later on in life. So we've been doing that, so we're waiting, uh, but we are getting towards that eight month, nine month where she might have her first heat. So we do need to look at getting her fixed. Um, but the doctor said with uh, the bigger dogs with, with that deeper chest is they have a habit of the stomach can get bloated and then the stomach can flip over and then it cuts off circulation, which now you're talking about extreme life-threatening uh, issue. So they go in there and they do a gastropexy and basically while they're while they're fixing the pup, um, they just do another little incision since they're right there and they attach the stomach to the wall inside. Uh, so that way the stomach can't flip over and you don't have to worry about it. The bloating still happens, whatever, but the stomach can't flip over and then you don't get into that, that crucial period. So definitely something I'm gonna have her taken care of when we get her fixed. Uh, but right now the main concern obviously is what's going on with her today, real time. Poor doctor, she has like heat coming out and she's like freezing and I'm sitting in a nice warm truck. I gotta turn it off. Like it's one thing, like I'm getting so, I love my truck. Like, you know, a guy loves his truck kind of over. Like we don't need this big of a truck anymore. We don't tow the trailer anymore. Maybe we need a downsize, but it's so loud because it's a 2006 diesel and it's not, you know, one of these newer, you know, like the Chevys with the Allison's that you can't even hear. So I feel bad. So I always have to turn the car off, especially drive throughs all that kind of stuff. Anyways, she comes back, uh, fecal, she got worms. I got worms. I beg your pardon? So she's got worms, uh, hook worms. So they basically, they do that. They hook onto them. So they're going to give her something, a dewormer to work on that. Uh, they're gonna run some blood work just because of the paleness, just to see if she's anemic. Uh, give her some some supplements to boost that up if they need to. Give her an injection for nausea because she's still not eating in there with their wet food. So that'll kind of cover that. So it sounds like it's just the worms, thankfully. So she'll get that injection shot, take the supplements to help get rid of them, and then uh, we'll pick up in a couple of weeks when she comes back for a follow-up, give her her next round of shots and do all that other good stuff. Whew. Kind of relieved. Kind of relieved. We still gotta wait and see what this blood says. Cross our fingers, but seems seems to be on the better side of things, at least for now. She's not anemic on her blood work, so that's good. good. Okay. Um, so we gave her her that anti-nausea injection. Okay, sweet. Along with about 300 milliliters of fluid under her skin. And then here's a handout about that um, bloating, which this is the fancy name for bloating, but. The gastropex. Yeah, anything? just so okay. you can kind of see what happens with it. No, I like it, because I, I have a YouTube channel and I document everything and stuff so you know getting macy has been part of it too so Ooh. this is good to pass along to people because awesome. yeah yeah a lot of people don't I mean, know if i didn't know like yeah i'm sure yeah. there's plenty of others that didn't know so and so i mean you can if they bloat you can do a surgery to flip their stomach back over and fix it but it's so expensive because i mean it ends up being like ten thousand yeah. dollars that's okay. fine yeah right. perfect thank you so much okay so she's she is awesome uh you hear that ten thousand dollars for this the gastric di gastric dilation and volvulus syndrome like if you don't get that taken care of and the stomach does flip and you have to have emergency it'd be like 10 grand because you got to flip the stomach go in there do the surgery flip the stomach then they got to be in icu they can have heart palpitations like all, a whole laundry list of things so again just like the little cover over our window right rather be proactive than reactive we're gonna get this done while we're in there Feel good. You'll be feeling better soon, okay, mom? Love you. It's like having another kid.
kid. All right, let's go. Come on, sad puppy. Let's go. Usually she sees those chickens and she'll just kind of like, you know, play with them. Yeah, not even bothered by them. Nope, gonna just keep on going. All right, girl. Hopefully you start feeling better in the next couple hours. And really quick, I gotta let y'all in a little secret. These were discovered on TikTok. Mackenzie found these on TikTok. You can get these at Costco. They are the closest thing you will get to Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. These are amazing. Like they, they are the most amazing chicken nuggets that you will ever have, I promise you. And they taste like Chick-fil-A. We put them in the air fryer. They come out amazing. You don't feel like stuffed. You don't feel like you ate like a pig, like, uh, my bad. You don't feel like you've ate like, what was it? Repulsive? Repulse? A repulse? You don't feel like you've ate repulsive, right? That's the new PETA friendly word. Cause you can no longer say stuffed as a pig. You can't call someone a chicken either. Um, what is it? You can't call someone a sloth if they're slow. There are a few other things. I'll pop them up right here. Yeah, this was from PETA. Uh, yeah, PETA says the animals are offended and quit using these words. So, so my apologies um, to pigs everywhere. The pigs outside are pigs. Like I need to go personally apologize and um, make it up to them that I said I was going to be stuffed like one of them because I'm not going to be. But anyways, back to chicken nuggets. So yeah, these things, Costco, if you can find them, we happen to stumble upon them. Babs bought four bags. Uh, so we've got a freezer full that'll last us a little bit, but they are out. Last week when we were there, nothing to be found. Uh, I'm going to try to go again today at soccer uh, and see if we can find them. But the, the closest thing that you will find to Chick-fil-A without being Chick-fil-A, then you can go to Chick-fil-A and you can buy the, the, things that their sauces, bring them home. Yeah, Chick-fil-A at home. You don't gotta go. You don't gotta go to the restaurant anymore. Watch what these look like. Just short of amazing. Tell you, try it. If you can find them, try them. And then let me know. Come on here and let me know. Either you like them or you don't like them. And if you don't like them, I'll take them off your hands, okay? Just trust me on this one. Oh my God. Okay. Y'all, we can't eat this many eggs. Like seriously. I mean, I could do like two or three eggs in the morning. Even if we did all four of us had two eggs in the morning, that's eight. We have 40 something eggs right here on two days. These chicks are just going crazy with the eggs. And that's fine. We're gonna give you give some of these out to the neighbors and soccer family still, but my goodness. Are there egg people? Are there people that can just eat eggs for everything? I just can't. I get so bland sometimes. But it's good for baking and all the other stuff too. But my goodness. Grateful, thankful, my gosh. Absolutely love all these eggs these girls give us. But so I've just been kind of picking up around out here. Um, we got some serious cold weather coming next week. Uh, this weekend into next week, uh, kind of to the middle of the month. I talked about before, but uh, from the short term forecast, like, and even the medium models, it looks like winter is far, far from done. Which, can we talk about that for one, one second? Time out. Let's talk about that because today, today is February 2nd, also known as Groundhog Day. The day where everyone pays attention to this stupid animal that comes out of the ground and wonders if he's gonna see his shadow or not. Are we really still doing this? I don't know how long this has been going on. I don't know if, if y'all had seen this, this coverage of this animal that comes out of the ground and all these old white men with their top hats on and oh, tradition of the groundhog. The thing is right 39%. Like that's, that's the accuracy rate of this animal coming out of the ground. 39% accuracy. That is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. 
39%. We're still making a big deal about this furry little wannabe beaver that pops out of the ground and tells us if you're going to see a shadow or not. He doesn't even know what's going on. He just has these old white dudes with top hats around just picking them up and holding them up in the air. And he's like, dude, I just want to go back in. I just want to go back in because it's cold out. It's winter time. No, cancel culture. Where are you at? You've been all over the place. You've, you've been busy. We need you right now, cancel culture. Groundhog Day. Eh. Not the movie. Not, not Bill Murray. That's a fantastic movie. That is a great movie. That can stay. But this whole... The tradition of this... No. Sorry. I'm just, I'm just angry. Hard thing is keeping all the water uh, defrosted for the animals. For pig, for the chicks, for the dogs. We have a heated bowl for the dogs. Haven't got a heated one yet for the pigs, but just do my best to come out here every morning when we feed them anyway stir up the ice and that way break it up and make sure they have plenty of water what do you think pig you gonna be good babe you gonna be good on the cold you're gonna wear three masks to keep yourself why would you wear three masks oh because oh that's right they say wear three masks now that's right i forgot three masks you've been doing it wrong this whole time you got to wear three of them all right, that's it, y'all. Got to clean up the yard, uh, figure out some more stuff, and then uh, we'll pick back up maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. Rizzo, you got anything to say? That's right. You ain't wearing no three masks, huh? No way. No way. All right, that's it, y'all. That's it from Tennessee, y'all.